Hey everybody, it's Greg from Rev Robotics, and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, one of our brand new products, the Max Planetary Gearbox. Uh, Max Planetary is a modular stackable gearbox uh, designed for everything that you could need within the first robotics competition. Uh, we took a lot of the lessons learned from our Ultra Planetary Gearbox uh, that we launched a couple of years ago that was really designed for 550 scale motors and we grew it up, we made it more durable, and we did a lot of great things that, that uh, FIRST Robotics Competition teams are really going to love. So let's check out some of the features. So one of the first things that you'll notice on this gearbox is that it's got a socketed hex output. As opposed to a regular shaft attached to it, that means that you could take any half-inch hex shaft and put it in the, in the gearbox, so you can now have a gearbox with any length output shaft that you'd like. Next, it mounts just like you would uh, expect a gearbox. It's got 1032 screws everywhere. These are all on a half inch pitch. And then on the face of the motor, you also have four different mounting positions on a two inch hole pattern, which is the same as a Neo and a whole bunch of other uh, accessories that you're familiar with in the FRC ecosystem of products. So the star of this gearbox is the module itself. So each one of our, each one of our gear stages is fully self-contained. So it comes completely contained, top and bottom, totally sealed in, and then they come pre-greased. So that means that when you get these out of the package, there's no greasing to be had. You don't need to find all small gears and try to assemble this or worry about where they go. These can be treated as a single module, and that's something that we really took from our previous design, except these feature an all-aluminum, all-metal housing with full uh, CNC steel gears on the inside of them. So let's take a look at the kit, and then we can show you how this, uh, this all goes together. So the first thing that you'll see is we have a base kit. So that's kind of the, the start of this. And the base kit comes with all the features to get a gearbox started. So that's the, the uh, mounting plate that mounts to your motor. You'll see on the back it's got hole patterns. These hole patterns are for the Neo, the Sim, the Falcon, uh, 550 scale motors, 77, uh, 700 series motors like the 775, um, or anything else right there on, on this. And then you also get the socketed hex output, which has that and the spline. And then you get the motor coupler, and the, the kit comes with the 8mm keyed version of the motor coupler. So that'll mount right to the Neo, right to a sim motor, um, and you can go from there. And um, one really unique feature about this gearbox is, um, you know, I said that you could put a, any shaft of any length in here, but we also it comes with this three inch shaft. So if you want your gearbox to act like a traditional planetary gearbox, you can install this in here, and then by taking a regular number 10, uh, 1032 button head in the bottom, you screw that in and attach it, and now the shaft is attached to your output. So now you can treat this like a totally regular gearbox output, but you can replace this shaft for any length that you possibly want. So let's assemble the rest of this gearbox. So over here I've got a Neo, and I've, it's a standard Neo, and I've put a, uh, the regular keyway in there. And so here's how you start. You take the, uh, take the mounting plate, put the mounting plate on the motor, grab the included screws, find the screws that you want on the, there, and screw those in. Okay, once that's there, then you take your, your, your coupler and you align your coupler to the key and just push that down. Nothing extra to do there. Now, one of the things you might notice about this gearbox is that shaft is sticking out. Now, on other planetary gearboxes you might be familiar with, you would have to cut this, this shaft off, meaning the motor you're using is pretty much locked to the use only in a gearbox, but with the Max Planetary, um, you don't actually have to cut that at all because each one of the stages allows a pass-through in the middle for that shaft. So, you now let's build this gearbox up into the 60 to 1 configuration, which is a 5, a 4, and a 3 all together. Standard best practice for a planetary transmission is to uh, always start with the highest gear ratio closest to the motor. So in this case, I'm going to start with a 5, and I'm going to slide that on, and then I'll take the 4, and I'll slide that on, I'll add the three, and then I'll take the output that we've put together already and do that. I will flip the gearbox over, 
and then take the included screws from the base kit. And lock them in too. Now when you're ready to put this on your robot, you might want to put a little Loctite on these screws to make sure they don't uh, loosen over time. But that's the entire gearbox. So you're fully assembled. Uh, my hands are still clean and it went together very fast. So the Max Planetary is really designed for anything that you can do in FRC. We wanted to create a new gearbox system that is flexible, gives you the ability to adjust your gear ratios on the fly, either using that for prototyping or on your robot, and uh, give you the flexibilities you needed. Now, the base kit and everything comes with what you need for a SIM or a NEO, but uh, we also have kits available for all the other common motors that you might use. So whether you're using a 775, a Falcon, or a NEO 550, you can add those and use those on this gearbox as well. So, um, we're really excited to see what you do with it. Uh, be sure to check out more application examples and the how-to guides of how to put all this stuff together on our website, um, specifically on our docs page at docs.revrobotics.com. If you've got any questions about this, you can email us at support at revrobotics.com. And as always, uh, we hope you stay safe and we'll see you at the competitions.